All right, so this was not the way the Sabres wanted to start the preseason, but hey, there's a lot of positives that can be taken away from this game tonight. They did drop 2-1 to the Minnesota Wild, but they dominated from what I saw in the first period and in the third period, especially the shot total, 41-30. to Minnesota's goalie stood on his head. Kudos to him. He got the first star. But let's look at the goals that happened tonight, and let's kind of break them down a little bit further. So I want to show you the Girgensen's goal. He's parked right in front of the net, but a really nice play by Casey Nelson at the point to get that puck from the point to the net through traffic, a big juicy re rebound. Gergensen knows what to do with it. Dan Bilesma said after the game it was nice to see Gergensen get a goal so early on. Gergensen said he really wants to improve considering the season that he had last year. And I think personally, Casey Nelson stood out to me probably more than any player that was on the ice tonight. And Dan Bilesma said he has had a really good training camp and he actually looks like a seasoned vet compared to some of the other players that are out there. So a really nice game for Casey Nelson. All right, now Minnesota's first goal. This one was kind of just a weird bounce, but you could see the Sabres were running around like chickens with their heads cut off before this play. They had a delayed penalty, but two left-handed defensemen were on the ice when that goal was scored. A lot of times that got them in trouble last year. Most teams go with a left and a right-handed defenseman. Obviously, it's the preseason. There's a lot of times for things like that to change. And then fast forward all the way to 4.6 seconds left. This is what the penalty was taken on. It was a little scuffle behind the net between Evander Kane and Matt Dumba. Evander Kane did get the stick up. It was high sticking in the regular season. That is probably not a penalty, but he did take the penalty here tonight. And then on the four on three, it's such a tough position to be in. Maybe a little bit of a better play from the defenseman who was in front of the net, but just an absolute rocket by Jason Zucker. That's one that Linus Olmark's not stopping. Most goalies in the league aren't stopping that one. So that's really what I took away from tonight's game. Thanks for following along with us on Twitter. And hey, we'll be right back at it tomorrow night. The Sabres back home tomorrow at 7 o'clock.